In this video, I will be sharing with you the mistakes that I have made with masking fluid so that you don't have to go through the same struggles. Let's dive in. Mistake number one, using my good brushes to apply masking fluid. Oh yes, I've been there. And let me tell you, masking fluid does not pay nice with those nice results. I have lost a couple of my favorite brushes before learning my lesson. Now I use old brushes or even toothpicks for finer details. And a little pro tip I wish I had known earlier is that we can dip our brush in soapy water before applying masking fluid. It makes the cleanup way easier and it protects the bristles. The next mistake that all of us do is that we apply the second layer of paint on the masking fluid before the masking fluid dries. If you don't allow the masking fluid layer to dry completely before applying the second layer of paint, the wet masking fluid can mix with the wet paint causing smudging and blending effect that we may not intend. This can ruin clean lines and crisp edges that we're trying to achieve. Hence, we have to always ensure that the previous masking fluid layer dries up before we add the next layer of paint on it. And here comes the last mistake that we always do and that is rushing the removal process. Peeling off masking fluid way too early, I get it. Waiting can be hard, especially when you are excited about finishing your piece. If you remove before the paint is dry, you will probably end up with smudges or torn paper. And we definitely don't want that to happen so again we have to ensure that the previous layer is dried up completely before we apply the next layer or before we remove the masking fluid so to sum up all of the points we have to ensure that we use the right tool to apply the masking fluid and we have to ensure that the masking fluid is completely dry before we apply a layer of paint on it and then removal of masking fluid must be done only after the masking fluid dries completely and also the paint surrounding it should be dry as well. These are the three big mistakes that I have made while using the masking fluid and believe me, I have made them more than once. But now you don't have to. Learn from my mishaps and save yourself some headaches. Let me know in the comments if you made any of these mistakes or if you have some of your own lessons or experiences to share. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And also, I hope you enjoyed this painting of Dandelion. Please do try and let me know how it goes. Hit that subscribe button for more tips, tutorials and of course, even more stories of my art fails. Thank you so much for watching this video.